Well, good uh, Tuesday. Strength of belief. <laughs> Y'all excuse my voice. I don't have much of one left, but I'm going to try to squeak through this <coughs> this video. Um, too much night air. Too much mountain night air. Um, but we did get in about 3 o'clock in the morning <coughs> last night. And uh, made it fine. No problems. And uh, did the usual uh, Super Dollar City Branson deal. We didn't we didn't go to the water park. It was cold. Fifty uh, six was for the low one night, and uh, normally fifty eight, fifty nine. Just a little little cool. Smoking a macanudo. Uh, up. Uh, Maduro, I'm just going to load up some pine tobacco. I got a tender box I want to show y'all. Um, we come back through Memphis. <clears throat> and uh, did the Graceland thing. Went by Jerry Lewis's house about uh, 10 o'clock last night. And uh, it appeared that the killer was home. <laughs> <laughs> he lives just across the line in Mississippi in a town called Nesbitt, just across out of Memphis there. But uh, had a good time, ate some good food. Uh, perfect, perfect weather for Super Dog City. We went two days. Uh, well, we stay at my dad's cabin, you know, so which is about 70 miles from uh, Ransom. And it was 71, 72, perfect weather. Last year we were there, and it was in the 90s, and it was miserable. It was absolutely perfect. It didn't get hot. I mean, it was perfect, beautiful weather. Could have asked for better uh, amusement park weather during the day. I brought along my little tinderbox uh, coral pipe. This is what I'm going to be smoking tonight. And uh, got a big sack of goodies from Tender Park in Memphis. I, I do not sue anything at the pipe deal. But uh, this is a, uh, I only have one. <coughs> one uh, pipe tobacco. I'm, I'm trying to go through what I've got at home, but I'm on black wash and, and I've had about half a bottle of it. It is a uh, Burley's and Cavendish, and it is uh, uh, vanilla, dark chocolate, and molasses flavor. Very good, very smooth. Like I say, y'all, y'all bear. Mm -hmm. Bear with my voice, it's horrible. The um, mountain here was so crisp and clear. One night we slept with the windows open upstairs, and it was that's what done. It. We um, want to eat at the rendezvous. Mm. Always like to eat ribs at the rendezvous in Memphis. <coughs> However, they were closed on Sunday and Monday. So we wound up at Memphis Barbecue Company. It's a new upstart. Won several awards. This one was actually in the uh, Horn Lake area of Mississippi right across the river. Some of the best barbecue I've ever had. If you ever get to Memphis, try them out. Absolutely great. Appetizer. Fantastic. The cheese and sausage platter. Um, some kind of fried cheese balls. Great. I had brisket pulled pork platter. And it was, I'm in the barbecue business. This was good. This was 
Excellent, Lord, you I'd recommend it. Okay, we gotta load it up there. I forgot my pipe lighter, I'll just have to use this torch. But I brought several, I bought several sticks from Tinderbox, and I went to a little place called Bob's Cigar in Branson. It's okay, it's it's fair, and uh, picked up four or five sticks there. Then some in Tinderbox, they had some on sale, and uh, This is good stuff, y'all. It says it's recommended as a dessert smoke, but you can smoke it all the time. It's excellent. If you like aromatics, it's not a, <clears throat> overly sweet, not at all. Apparently, they're using some premium <laughs> Cavendish in it, and it's it's good. But I bought the pint tobacco, a little travel case, cigar. Not a big one, it's all they had though. And, uh, I don't like a little overnight deal or something. Now these sticks oh, This is one that the guy Bob gave me to try. It's a uh, he just said uh, let him know what I thought about it. It's uh he said it's an internet brand mostly. It's a little Don <clears throat> Don Kiki. Never heard of it, but I'm going to try it. Picked up some uh, some diesel. That's all he had left, and I like the diesel. Hard to find at brick and mortar. Usually, you can get, get them online. Then a um, couple of five Vegas. Uh, Eight, uh, eight, nine is smoking grandpa bones got me really turned on to the five Vegas lineup. Love them. Got some coming tomorrow from my cigar bits that I want to be at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> Some of these were harder, are kind of hard to find. And brick and more ham, really. Well, there's some Olivas in here. The Siri G. And I couldn't remember if Friday stocked these at Governor's or not. But, um,. Uh, This is one I haven't tried. Siri G. Anything in a Leva is pretty good. I, li I like them. I've never had a bad Oliva yet. You, you can't go wrong with them. Uh, that little punch. Like I say, most of these are brands I can't get here locally, so.
Now these are <coughs> seconds Hoye de Monterey 275 each and these were just like blemish seconds whatever and I've smoked these already and it is it's a Hoye de Monterey it's, it's good I wish I'd have bought five or six more of them but I wasn't sure and I only bought five and like I said, I wish I could bought twice that many because they are good. Bought a couple of three and bought three on me on Julieta Reserve. I can't get these here. These are good. Absolutely good. Um, uh, Camacho Corojo. I like this one from time to time. Uh, some more Rocky Patel. Well, two Rocky Patel edges. And a Perdomo limited edition, 2008. I get most of my Perdomos from Governors, but he doesn't stock this one. So that's them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, 20 sticks total. So, and they had these, most of these were on sale. So, I did pretty good with them. But, like I said, I wish I'd have bought more of these unlabeled Hoya de Monterey's because they are they're good. It's kind of like some EP Corillas and that Cigars International lineup um, brown label, I think. Um, Got to try. Excellent. And it's the same as E.P. Corolla. Uh, but you're on, I believe. <laughs> Talked to Chris Pipe Happy on the phone. He called to be sure I got my package in. I did. Thank you, Chris, on the trade. We did. I hope you got yours. You should have it by now. Uh, accidentally, I was trying to call Tinderbox. I was lost in Memphis. And I had sent them down to send me the, or via text message their number from 411. And somehow, I called Wallace, Mr. Priestum. And I said, can you tell me how to get to uh, your location? I'm in front of Dick's Sporting Goods. And he said, Kevin, I wish I could. Boy, I don't I? I don't know that I can help you. I'd accidentally called up Wallace. So, Wallace, I was lost as a goose. I'm going to try to call you back. <laughs> <coughs> we all look. I have squeaked and scratched his voice about as long as I can do it, but I did want to touch base with y'all. Like I said, we did have a, have a great time. Miss Emma had a wonderful time. She loved Graceland. I think she might enjoyed that. As much as she did, Silver Dollar City and Graceland has changed. Uh, they've moved the cars across the street. Uh, rumor has it that they're going to move the airplanes totally from there. To still go on them, but they put more cars. The cars are easily you get you get the ticket to go in it with the package deal, but the cars are across the street now, and they are actually a better view. Uh, they kind of rush you through the house more than they used to. I didn't like that, but uh, it's changed a little bit, and I think maybe for the better. Uh, one of the few areas that change has been better, but I think that's one of them. Now, if they don't get rid of the planes, the planes need to stay there. They're part of that deal, and although they're not owned by the same company that owns Graceland, but Elvis Presley Boulevard. As a whole, has went down. I mean, it's in a bad part of town now. Of course, they're trying to clean it up and revitalize it, but they got a lot of work to do. All right, look, friends, thank y'all for watching. Catch up with y'all later. Y'all have a good one, and God bless you.